Hey, it's Pinkmon and welcome back to the Eevee Legacy Challenge. We have Granny Isla over here just cooking up some roast chicken because she actually got the moodlet to specifically cook that. <laughs> um, she's just making it for uh, Aiden's birthday dinner. Look at this freaking cake. I cannot, <laughs> I can't get over this. This is from Granny's cookbook mod and I just think it's like the cutest freaking birthday cake for a kid or even an older person i guess <laughs> it has a little frog on it it's very like cottage living themed because it has mushrooms and daisies and stuff but i just thought it was perfect for him because i kind of feel like he likes frogs since we have his little pet frog up in his room right here um we'll just say frogs are like his favorite animal so i was like "Ooh, that cake's perfect for him <laughs> But yeah, he will be aging up into a teen this evening, just kind of waiting for Isla to finish making his dinner. And I don't know if we're going to, I guess we should invite people over for his birthday. Like he has friends and stuff from school. Did I end up finishing his aspiration? Oh, I did. Good. Must have done that off camera. And he actually just reached motor level 10 from all the gaming he does. Oh, here is our little old man. Look at Philip. I'm so glad we have more than one gray hair color for elders now because now you can use like, I think there's like three different ones that work for elders, but I just like this silver color. He's like a silver fox. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I wanted to switch it up and have someone not have the same, like this gray shade as an elder. But yeah, I think I should go in and actually plan the party before it gets too late. All right, so the party has started, and I think I'm actually gonna start by doing a multiplayer game with the birthday boy, because what else would he like to do on his birthday other than like a whole video gaming and tournament? So it looks like none of the guests have really gotten here. Um, I mean, a couple have, but let's just choose like Ember and then all his siblings, um, and we'll let them do that. And what are we doing over here? I guess the chicken dinner is done. I guess we should probably make another thing though. Let's have Electra do it. Because her mom handled the chicken. She can at least make some kind of vegetarian alternative for people. I'll just have her do like vegetable tempura. I invited all the family members I could think of and also some of the friends and stuff. Aw, poor Brennan. So I went into his household. Uh, he did get a divorce, but he never ended up having any more kids with his ex-wife. So it's not like these guys have any hidden siblings we didn't know about. <laughs> I guess that's good. Electra looks so, like, I don't know, mature in this outfit. I love it. I realized she's really close to becoming an elder. Not that close because she had so many kids. Um, I guess Philip's a decent amount older than her, but... Um, yeah, she's getting up there in age and her style is still pretty, uh, youthful, which is fine. Like, I don't think there's an age limit to when you can wear certain things, but I, it's just something I noticed. Like, if you look at her next to her husband, she looks like even younger than, oh God. Oh, <laughs> I thought her nipples were... <laughs> I thought her nipples were showing it's just it's just stars <laughs> okay um yeah almost had a heart attack oh wow um this kid needs a makeover that's actually the little boy that's been texting her and stuff i should have them officially meet because i don't know yeah even though they talk and text all the time apparently they haven't even done an introduction so let's have ember meet him i think he has a little crush on her all right everybody's out here just helping themselves that's good Oh no, <laughs> the birthday boy is bored. I don't think he won that game he just played, but... Oh, Ember didn't and she's rage quitting. Let's have her do like an angry dance. <laughs> Look at her little pretty outfit. I think it's really cute. Oh, <laughs> there's there it goes, the rage dance. Okay, I think it's time to blow the candles out. So let's come and do that. He's going to taste the frosting. Make sure everybody who counts is in here. <laughs> here he goes. Yay. <laughs> I love this cake. It's so freaking cute. Where'd he go? Whoa. 
Um, okay, so I think I want to make him thinking a geek because he's definitely like obsessed with video games. Yeah, we're gonna go with that and his little aspiration. Uh, maybe he'll follow in his mom's footsteps and do the computer whiz thing. Where did he go? Oh, he came out here for some reason. Ah, uh, <laughs> he definitely needs a makeover, but let's see. Oh my God, all my Sims are aging up with this makeup nowadays. But this is what he looks like. He looks a lot like his dad, actually, doesn't he? The nose, the mouth, even like the face shape, and even the eye shape. I think he looks like almost his dad's clone, except for the coloring. Well, he turned out cute, and he will have a makeover either in the middle of this episode <laughs> that I'll cut out or like by the next episode. Okay, I'm gonna have people just eat some cake. He aged up with a little pot belly. Oh my god. <laughs> I just noticed that. Hopefully he actually gets a piece of his cake. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I love that cake. And I like how the plate looks like a little log. Oh my god. Adorable. Here's Jules. I don't know if I showed you her makeover after she became an elder. She looks almost the same. This hair is like a shortened version of what she already had, but I think she looks really cute. She kind of dressed like an old lady most of her life, so <laughs> her style looks the same. All right, and with that, I'm gonna end the birthday party. It is 11.30. Hey, it's not as late as I normally end the party. So the, oh, who broke Electra's computer? Luckily, she's level 10 uh, handiness, so she can easily come and fix this. Bye, everybody. So many sims in this house. <laughs> Aw, I'm sorry about your divorce, Brennan. I really hope you, I don't know. At this point, he's too old to, I mean, you're never too old to meet someone, I guess, but <laughs> he should probably just like go chill for the rest of his life, you know? Electra's just cleaning up after the party, but I saw this really funny mood that she got. Gone too soon from the techie lifestyle. That poor piece of technology parted from our world far too soon. There must be something Electra can do to save it. That's about her computer getting destroyed. She already fixed it, so she should kind of be over that. It's going away in a in a sec anyway. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> no. Pause. I was not ready for this. I kind of forgot that uh, Isla would be dying in this part. I know I said it last time, but that was a, a few days ago. Everybody wake up. No, Isla! <laughs> Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> I really, really liked Isla. She was probably one of my favorite heirs of any of my series. Aww. Well, now it's gonna be depression time. Stop doing a derpy smile, Electra. Aww. Oh no. Really, Aiden, you're taking a selfie as your grandma's dying? Does he not see it? Okay, he does. <laughs> he just now realizes. And then we have Cole smiling as well. What the heck? Aw, Electra can't even look at her mom. She's like turning the other way. Okay, now she turned back around. And she's smiling. Stop. <laughs> Aw. At least, okay, it's sad, obviously. But the good thing is she got to live like two elderhoods because of how many bonus days she had from being a mermaid. So she got to see all her grandkids grow up like at least a large portion of their lives. That's good. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Jolteon. Even Jolteon's sad. Oh no. <laughs> this is depressing. Oh God. Aw, Ember. And now she smiles. Stop! <laughs> I wish they would just like not smile at all during the death sequences. Go away, Grim Reaper. You suck. How was I engraving these? Let me check one of the past ones. Oh, I have two of the same metal. Let me sell one of those. Um, I guess I was kind of just um writing like this. Like on Eva's, I put EV Founder, so I'll put Vaporeon Air. 
that's depressing. It is New Year's Eve and everybody in the house is depressed. They're all like crying in their sleep. This is so freaking sad. But we are gonna still try and make the best of it. I'm just kind of letting them sleep in since it's a holiday and a weekend. Um, and they ended up staying up late. Oh, looks like we have our first person awake. So we'll just have um, everybody start getting ready, I guess, for the day. We're not gonna have a party because we just had one. And obviously the family's not in the mood to like full on celebrate New Year's Eve. Aww. <laughs> Oh my god, Villa, that's so cute. He just went and started crying. I'm gonna have them kind of make their resolutions as they're getting ready this morning. Um, Philip just wants to get promoted. What about Isla? She's kind of just like stress cleaning right now and not eating. Um, even though she's hungry, we're gonna say like she doesn't have an appetite because her mom just obviously died last night. So uh, let's do complete an aspiration milestone for her. Cinder is going to uh, how about get a significant other and call uh, maybe he'll have the same goal <laughs> and Aiden's gonna do the improve his grade thing because he should only be a B student right now Ember actually what does she got going on okay she's not done her what was that wow um <laughs> That was loud. She's gonna do the complete a milestone or something. Uh, yeah, do that. Oh my god, you guys, look at it. Oh, she's having her emotional meltdown. Poor thing. Philip, why don't you help your son with his homework? He obviously needs a makeover, but like, haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. I'm just gonna have everyone do their homework. Because, even like I said, even though it's New Year's Eve, it's not like anyone's in a very festive mood. Why are you grilling? Oh, I forgot to invite Aiden's BFF to his birthday party because I didn't even recognize him when he aged up. Electra managed to actually try to make herself something healthy to eat with this Caesar salad, but it kind of looks like a pile of mush. That kind of sucks, but <laughs> maybe she was... Um, distracted while making it because she was all depressed and stuff so she ended up making a really nasty salad but that's okay <laughs> she tried she's trying all right just so she can get her mind off things and work on her aspiration i'm gonna have her mod all these games the only one i finished on this computer was the refuge so we're just gonna mod blick block and this should add to her spending hours on the computer. I noticed the live streaming one at one point was not even counting towards this at all. So I'm gonna hold off on that um, until she reaches her 100 hours. We'll have to pay attention and make sure this actually goes up. So we're at 53. So we'll see if it ends up going up. Aw, is she thinking of her grandfather? Oh my god. Maybe she's thinking like, at least mom is finally with dad now in heaven <laughs> oh my god philip level seven parenting he's doing good how will you help cole out now oh my gosh wait why is this so sad i was like where the heck is cinder at and then i come up here she's sitting on isla's bed doing her homework oh that is so sad Oh my god she may be the closest to her just because she's the oldest so she would have i mean her and cole are the oldest but maybe she spent the most time with her i mean amber is probably a close second because she like lived in the same room as her for a little while we're gonna have the siblings do a multiplayer game that's what they like to do together that'll get their mind off things maybe a little oh hey who said you could get some champagne, dude? Philip's gonna take that away from Cole. Cole, stop it. <laughs> Philip really wants to be friendly with Electra. He actually has two of the same whims that say be friendly with her. We're gonna take that as he like really wants to just comfort her right now and make sure she's doing okay. He didn't cheat. This is a mess up with a mod, <laughs> by the way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. He's reminiscing and then what else can we do? Let's share our resolution. Maybe we can like share some New Year's Eve spirit 
and we'll take that as like he's saying your mom would want us to have fun today she'd want us to like celebrate her super long life and be grateful that she had so Ooh, let's do a new year's eve toast like he's basically cheersing to isla and saying like she would want us to have fun we'll pretend they let the kids have just like juice <laughs> but yeah that's basically what he's doing they're just trying to stay positive even though it's really depressing and electra's actually in a good mood right now she made her <laughs> she made her resolution wait no she didn't i'm confused by that oh it just means she said it it doesn't mean she completed it i was like um what things might need to be toned down for a bit what the heck does that mean i've never seen that uh what that's weird i'm so if you guys know what that's from let me know <laughs> i've never seen that before for some reason just ember could not do it is it because she rage quit is that maybe why i don't know weird oh look at jolteon she's sad too she also doesn't like the tv Let's try to cheer her up. Like, let's calm her down. Oh, poor baby. I can probably start looking for a mate for her, actually. Let's um, pet her. What is she doing? Oh, she wants to mate. <laughs> kind of perfect timing to find her a mate. Ooh, maybe I should do that before the next episode. All right, so we are gonna have to extend the household size again um and do that whole annoying thing <laughs> but that's okay just kind of making sure jolteon's doing okay okay yeah so modding those games does count towards her aspirations so i am gonna have her just honestly mod all of them uh we'll do oh we've actually done these three hillock 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 whatever two let's do incredible sports next i'm gonna have uh, Philip do a comforting hug to Jolteon and then maybe train her a little because we started Training. Oh, yeah, she got most of the tricks so far. She just needs fetch and rollover. So we'll do rollover Oh, Jewel wants to come over. Yes, definitely come over She's probably been alone in her house this whole time being depressed Oh, look at Ember She's out here swinging. I'll probably have her play with all these things out here. Let's have these guys have a deep conversation. Electra's in like a weirdly happy mood and she already um, got rid of her sad moodlet over the death. Like I've said in the past, she has the um, emotion bomb fame quirk. So her emotions will build up and then she'll just kind of explode and let it out and then she feels better. So that's the only reason why she feels better already. Um, but obviously using her imagination, she's still sad. She's just trying to be positive, you know? Aw, Jodion. Good job rolling over. You only need to learn fetch after this. Oh my god, she's so cute. Ooh, what kind of mate should we get her? You know what? Maybe that would cheer everyone up. Once we're done modding this one game, I'm gonna have Electra adopt a mate for Jolteon. We'll just get one of the ones from the adoption center if we can find one that is like at least semi cute. The, the Eevee puppies end up coming out wonky looking every time because obviously mixing with this Pokemon looking dog and a regular dog ends up looking weird, but that's okay. Now let's adopt a mate for Jolteon. Just because now the oldest kids are teens, so they're gonna need their, their little puppies soon. So I don't know if I'm blind, but I'm pretty sure that hire a service is gone now yeah no it's gone <laughs> luckily we can adopt from the computer but i don't know if that's like a mod causing that to be gone or if there's an actual glitch going on let me know if you've noticed that in your game all right so we're looking for obviously a small male adult dog there's a lot of cute um puppies and stuff but we need a full-grown dog so there's an actual fox but that's a female so we can't and she's spayed there's this dog, he's neutered. We can ob obviously get that reversed. He's pretty cute. We haven't had a dog like that. Oh, is that everything? Oh no, so really car is our only option. I'm gonna change the name, but I think we're gonna go with him. I mean, 
We could always age one of these puppies up, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to give this little dude a chance. There's not that many dogs this time on the adoption list. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. It means there's less homeless dogs, right? Um, okay, so is this our um, adoption agent? Nice mustache, bro. Okay, so I'm probably going to adopt him no matter what, but let's just... Oh, wait pause let's just make sure he doesn't have any terrible traits so let's come over and not pet care what we'll do a friendly introduction see how it goes hi buddy okay so we became acquaintances he didn't try to bite us or anything let's maybe get to know him um first and as long as we don't see like a trait like aggressive, I'm gonna get him. And let's offer friendship. Okay, he's smart. I love the smart dogs. Can we get to know him more than once or? Oh, we can. Let's just do it three times so we're absolutely sure he's not aggressive. I'm assuming he's not because he would have like reacted badly. Oh, what a sweetheart. Oh. I kind of love him. Look at his little tail. Look at his eyes. He's jumpy. Okay. Okay. That's and he's a tr a troublemaker. That's okay. That's acceptable. Okay. We are gonna go ahead and adopt Car. I will go change his name. Actually, what I'll do is yes, I'm sure. What I'll do is I'll give um him a new name, a collar, and all that, and give a makeover to Aiden off camera real quick. So, so since he's gray, and since the next generation is fire themed, I figured let's give him the name Ash, like Ashes. Also like Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna go with Ash for him. Oh, wait, pause. <laughs> Even though some terrible things happened, at least we got a new little family member here. That's so cute. Okay, this guy's gonna leave, and then I'm gonna head into Cass and fix up Aiden. Okay, so I just finished the makeover on Aiden. Here's Ash with his little orange collar. Um, that's all I did to Ash. <laughs> but for Aiden, here he is. So since he aged up on the chubby side, he's quite overweight. Um, I'm just gonna go with it because he spent 90% of his free time um, as a child playing video games so I don't think he got all that much exercise and that's what we're gonna blame it on but I'm gonna do something with him that I haven't really done with a male sim which is I'm, I'm gonna make him like deeply insecure about his body because I feel like <laughs> I feel like men have body insecurities, but you never really see that. <laughs> like, it's mostly um, women's body issues that get talked about, but men definitely have them too. So what I'm going to go with is when he was streaming video games and stuff in probably middle school, uh, because I feel like that's the meanest age. <laughs> Maybe some kids started making fun of him online, some trolls started calling him fat and making him feel really bad about himself, and he cares like super, like, too much about what other people think so he is definitely gonna try to go on some sort of weight loss journey um hopefully it doesn't end up i mean hopefully it ends up good for him and not like detrimental but yeah there's his every day here's his formal and as you can see he's not even that big he's just got a little bit of a tummy and a butt <laughs> like it's not even a big deal but like kids online are really mean so yeah here are all his outfits and the thing is, he wants to be like super stylish. Um, I gave him a tank top when he's swimming. I think Tyrion might have done this um, back when Tyrion aged up in Nata Berry and he was a little chubby, but he wasn't like super self-conscious. He just wanted to get healthy and his mom was super athletic, so he ended up working out. Um, and then once he lost weight, he took off the tank top. But I feel like, uh, I don't know, I just, I wanted to kind of play around with that and this dude like really cares about his appearance and stuff i think when he's older he might even get the high maintenance trait um because i feel like he it's like in his head he wants to be a pretty boy but on the outside he doesn't feel like um he's reflecting that if that makes sense so yeah there's his makeover 
I think I gotta have the dogs meet. We will see how Jolteon feels. Ah, Jolteon, you're supposed to be making a good first impression on your new mate and you just went out and got all dirty. Ugh, we definitely need to give her a bath first. <laughs> okay, so starting off with um, what I was talking about when we were in Create a Sim, um, with Aiden being all self-conscious about his body and stuff, I think he's gonna come just eat a salad. Girl, why are you cooking when there's so many leftovers? <laughs> Aww. I guess Electra's having another emotional meltdown. She must have gotten sad again over her mom, which is interesting because the moodla was gone. Trying to get everybody to watch this countdown to midnight, but apparently they can't even do that while they're eating, which is dumb. Let's just speed through it. Yay, okay. <laughs> That's over and done with. So let's have Jolteon, who's all nice and clean now. Scared of thunderstorms? No, she is jolty on the electric freaking evolution. She's not scared of thunderstorms. Um, where did Ash go? Oh, he's out here. Oh, the the pets can play in here. I didn't know that. How freaking cute is he? Oh my god. Um, can they like do an introduction? I don't know. Let's just do like friendly. I think that's what that means see what happens and um i can't have the mate right now because i have to uh go into my mc command settings i have to change the household limit in the oh he he got all dirty too she's chasing him <laughs> hostile jolteon she's hostilely chasing him maybe she's like mate with me right now <laughs> just kidding oh my god oh <laughs> Ah, she's scared of her. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Um, I think it's because he is skittish. Was that what it was? Uh, jumpy. These dogs are easily frightened and like to hide more often. They will often shy away from things like fights. But he's also a troublemaker. These dogs are always up to nothing good. They will often misbehave and can be can even be encouraged to do so. I've never played with a jumpy or troublemaker um, dog, so that'll be interesting to play with. I don't really want to change his traits, um, unless it becomes too annoying, then I guess I will. Do not chase him, you meanie. Oh my gosh. And now she's thinking about woo-woo. Yeah, that's exactly why she was chasing him. She's like, what's up? Make me a mom right now. <laughs> Okay guys, well, everyone just put themselves to bed, so I think I am going to end the part here. Let me know what you think of little Ash. Um, in the next part, I'm going to try to have them breed once I increase the household limit. Um, also, let me know what you guys think of Aiden's little makeover and the kind of character backstory I gave him. I don't know. I... what is this? Oh, Michael is having issues in his marriage. Okay, then. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope um, he ends up learning to love himself and also being healthy because like, yeah, obviously it wouldn't be a bad thing for him to get into fitness and eating healthy, but we don't want him to do it for the wrong reasons, like because trolls on um, like switch streaming or whatever are bashing his size we wanted him to do it because it's good for him and i'm still heartbroken by them all crying in bed but oh my god all right guys i am also going to be playing a couple days off camera not this whole week like i think i did one time in not so berry but at least a couple of days because we don't have any major events coming up and that gives me time to just kind of grind on finding medals and working on the aspiration i won't like complete those off camera because i like to complete the goals on camera but yeah anyways leave your thoughts suggestions all that down below Hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.